Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori, and today we are doing Lantern Right for 2024. Sorry for my hands. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, we're doing Lantern Right today. I'm very excited. Lantern Right is my favorite time in Genshin Impact, and I have been doing it since uh, the first Lantern Right, and it's just a, it's just very nostalgic and great. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Well, yes. And... <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. floating in the sky. Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuan Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about! But, all I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. <laughs> I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. <laughs> exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. Sounds awesome. Right? I also thought it was right? a novel idea. <laughs> Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall oh. in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping Those up with demand. Those are cute. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Cool! Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon! <laughs> uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. You see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm... Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. But to me, there's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. There's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. Kuching, are you going to finish your sentence? <laughs> She's so valid. Okay. In the past, poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of wow. longing. Or evoke the peacefulness what of idyllic world scenery. What happened? <laughs> if the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, okay. they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, 
but also hi to pass Deepa. It down hi to the Jay. Of How are y'all? That's the kuching we know. Always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. <laughs> well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. What about something... more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun... Hmm, let me think... Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite-making step-by-step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? <laughs> She's the eating it up. The scissor-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. They could be a useful reference. That would be a huge help! Great! Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. Hope it goes well. Perfect! We're gonna take a look around! Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Ah, I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. We've got it in the bag. <laughs> Maybe tone it down a bit, Traveler. What if we don't win? Listen, I can be confident. It's better to keep a low profile until the competition starts. Okay, then actually, we'll give good them point. A show they never <laughs> saw coming. Oh, that secret prize is ours. Then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet. See you then. Not March Quaking. She was in the filmmaking event too. They really said Charlotte is the new main Wait, character. Traveler, take a peek to your. They right. really do love Charlotte. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Um, I see them. Is it just Paimon, or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm, they seem fishy. The Chishing do attract a lot of attention. Huh. Well, yes, but something's up. Paimon just has a bad feeling. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. <laughs> oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. Foil their plans before they even begin. You go right, Paimon will go left. Wait, Paimon! Oh my god. It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. Whoa! Where did this buddy daddy come from? You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy! Don't 
don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name! Uh... One bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon huh? Harbor. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Hojong. Moon Carver? I didn't... Okay. You kidding? That deer's got his head stuck so far up in the clouds. There's no way he'd have... Oh, it's been a while since we've seen Moon Carver. Uh, <clears throat> you may want to hold your tongue. I mean, like, obviously we haven't seen him in this form, but... <laughs> Don't think that Paimon is going to believe you just because you know her Oh, wait, name. hold on. I need to close the door because my vacuum's about to come in here. Indeed. Mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jiahu. Huh. Looks like you did your research. But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. We'll go straight to the Millilith and have you arrested for impersonating a deaf guy. Really? Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. She really said, I'm gonna call the cops. If you really are who you claim to be, perhaps you can prove it? Right. Tell us something that only an adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. Oh, yeah? <sighs> You're a moon carver? Well, then tell me During every the moon that you carved. Lantern, right, we gathered at Mount Name Hula every with carved Rex moon. Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's supreme cuisine machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Uh... Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? One is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. <laughs> Why are... Why are they? <laughs> what? Like this is so awkward. I <laughs> suppose they really are the adepti. Uh, that might have been more detail uh, than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and Paimon, sorry for suspecting you. But uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge, right? Uh, take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. Few people will be able to see through it. You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Paimon's still curious about something. It's just... Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but... Why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. <sighs> It, it is, is but, but an inevitable, inevitable eventuality. eventuality. Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Liu at Harbor. With Lantern Rite near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liu at Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid. Cloud retainers in this case. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Huh. So you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. Damn! She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. 
one can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. I feel like However, if you do the relationships between all of them days, is like is like straight up a drama. Sure, leave it to us. Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride. Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. <laughs> they really are husbands. We got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along. Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Hyman wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. <clears throat> Welcome. Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Yeah, they explained like it, but I'm still like... Ah, uh, this jade chamber design is our newest. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. Does it also have a unique meaning? Of course. The jade chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite! <laughs> I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Uh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite-making materials. Wonderful! I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Rite. Paima would love to go take a look. Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? <gasps> are we gonna meet Gaming for the first time? Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? Yes. The communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub-organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families. So, our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. We'll help. Oh, wonderful. Ooh, I gotta sneeze. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated for oh, your efforts. Me. Now, at this time of day, coming should be somewhere in the vicinity. Uh, just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Should be on your right. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. Wait, I thought we had no, an agreement. No, a loser no. Loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Hey now. I remember, don't be I remember that Kalos' was voice this? actor announced that the he was coming. And I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to come from behind a win like that. <laughs> that was nothing. <gasps> All in a day's work, friend. He's so cute. I love his eyes. Okay, Gaming is here. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who. I love his little ponytail. Oh my god. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. I gotta go. Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Eh, it wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials. I see, I see. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a does good he guy. Little, He's just does he have a little beauty mark on his neck? Lately, running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? 
Or is that, is there a speck on my screen? He also has a headband. What? So, you here for Lantern Oh my god, he's so cute. So oh, lovely. he's this so adorable. Here. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elon Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. I'm good with directions? I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's oh, time. Oh, he, he's an extrovert. The ingredients are fresh, the he portions the, are generous, he is the most the extroverted extrovert the bank. that's ever you can extroverted. Order anything, and I promise, you won't be disappointed. Order anything? Paimon seems to be drilling already. Hey, did you really have to call <clears> Paimon <throat> out like that in front of our new friend? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Nope. Our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Oh, that's right. <laughs> then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. It's so cute! Like, it just oh. takes you out of what you're trying to do. <sighs> Seems like we really can't go anywhere <clears throat> without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah. It's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. I was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh. <laughs> That's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. It's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushu dancing? Um, I don't think so. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wushou dancing. So it's not something I do full time. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh. Uh. Let's go. The docks are just. Are you up ahead. okay? He's like, I don't sleep. I work two jobs. <laughs> Finally, we can rest. Oh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. He's... And her stomach so empty. He's so... He's so December Capricorn coated. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. You know, he, remi he reminds me of Koga. Too hilly. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon now? Wait! I'm pretty sure... That's Koga's birthday. Finally satisfied and now her poor Paimon. stomach Aw, would you like some winter melon cake? Winter melon cake? I have some on cake. me that I bought from a store. Yes, Pine will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Pine never gets too full. Just like, oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. He has the same ah, birthday as Koga. And here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy. I, and it's funny because I didn't even and realize that. And for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. Girl, I said, why is it, it still going? I've you. turned it off auto. He always seems like a friend close. To, okay, he meets. He gets along with everyone. He is, he is my dog. He is my dog. <sighs> no, but well. seriously... Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a D minute Are y'all seeing this? I turned it off auto and it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> that close of a call, huh? <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. Okay! You can buy them from all sorts of places. Whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different <laughs> flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. It's okay. 
Okay, Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chatter. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? Aww. <laughs> Don't forget your things, and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft, or you're in for a swim. Imagine someone turns it off of auto, because they're like, I gotta go pee really bad, and it's just, it keeps going, Thanks and they have the no ride, idea. Obubosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. <clears throat> this way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Oh, well, uh, how should I put it? Oh, back to auto, okay. Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? Those are my relatives. Wow, you sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's you know, I feel out? that. I really do. I do the same thing. Bless. Oh, did you do something horrible to them? No, it's not that. I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but right now, we've got a job to do. Uh, then we'll just have to sneak past them. Please, no. Do we have to do stealth? Mm, the left side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Crap, sorry. Slow and steady wins the race. Are you are you kidding? Stick close, traveler. Uh oh, we've been spotted! How? Oh no. Oh no. Gaming, when did you get here? Oh, you've lost even more weight. How long are you planning on staying this time? How's work been? It sounds tough. You should visit home more often. The last time I spoke with your dad, he couldn't stop talking about you. He seems worried. Causing trouble again, are you? Oh, this is this uh, is really <laughs> like the the Asian well. family experience right here. After much talking, you finally extricate yourselves from the circle of Gaming's relatives. <laughs> Uh, sorry, they mean well, it's just... Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Let's get these things delivered first. It's okay. Whenever you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Hey, Uncle Jirigoy. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes, thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songla tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgoy. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. Oh, I have he's to be up so... there about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh my god, oh, I'm you aren't I'm too picky, obsessed. right, Traveler? He's I know so Paimon sweet. I know prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Oh, you noticed what Paimon likes? How long have you two known He is gone? so my dog. Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along. We've literally known him for an life. hour. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends, you know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. Oh, a while ago, one of our boy. guards had to take off work. Said his joints were <clears> hurting <throat> due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? <laughs> I mean, there is his dad, but, well, ask anyone else. And... 
Uncle Yongsan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Uh, feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. Could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. The refreshing aroma and lingering aftertaste of the Sunlo tea. Oh, All she right didn't then. Fast. Deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Xinyue Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Whoa, that's way too generous of you. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Sounds good! Paima never says no to free food. See you at Shin Shinyu Kiosk, then. Alright, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> How can anyone not love him She's besides his death? How much she can really eat. Anyway, is Gobin's family situation really that complicated? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Hmm, how should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. I'll try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? Paimon was just joking. <laughs> but if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. <laughs> uh, seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. No thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the wharf. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. That's not a bad idea. All right, then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. It's very good. Ah! What are you doing Hi. here? Hi! Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. <laughs> Um, greeting, Shanyun. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. <laughs> Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? Why so mean? And what's with that huge box next to you? Ah, Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? And what of it? The Qixing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Mooncarver told us, or Tia something and Ho. Oh. Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. Oh. Anyway, they went to Leeway <laughs> Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Tianyun? Huh. Did she forget about them? Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Oh. <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to you. I love how she's going through all of this right now, and Traveler and Paimon are a like. A great thought what? has illuminated one's mind once again. 
One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Huh? Wait here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your step? Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Uh, let me go see what she's up to. I'll leave the stuff watching to you. Hey! Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now, that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. <laughs> then four shall suffice. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, oh, perhaps no. I can interest you in these exclusive Oh, no, gift she's girl mathing. Ten, get half off. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky person. Oh, no, help or her. Hmm. Stop. Ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's to say. She's like, I'm just going to buy gifts for like hmm. everyone, actually. Ten. A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price. Not for you. this. That is agreeable. One will. Um. I will have these boxed up then. Of course, of course. Right away. I see you have quite the eye for fine Help, items. Help! They're Mademoiselle. all gonna no. Perhaps some of my wares might also be interesting. Oh no! Might also we need to. We need to step you. in. She's about to go broke. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys. Mora can buy. She's not gonna here. fall for it. Each one Why does she need to, to buy be a toys? Of endless amusement. Wait, no, for her baby. Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. <laughs> there is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything, no less, it would only invite scandal. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. <laughs> I should head back before Sean Yu notices. She's so funny. Oh, Xianyan, did your shopping go smoothly? Hey, Fred. <sighs> Naturally, <clears throat> one may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. It seems that Sean Yu is easily swayed into buying things. That box looks fit to burst already. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around any longer. She's she's but really just like, like there me. Are lots of goods from Fontaine. I'd be falling for girl you math too. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? I'll be at like Bath and Body Works, and they'll be like, "Yeah, you only have like two body washes here. If you buy three more, you'll get two more for free." And I'll be like, two more for free?" 
I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to need all of this body soap. It's going. I'm gonna. It's gonna take me like a year. But you get two more. Also, <clears throat> one means to say you along with all the other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise, and indeed there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests, and thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh, who will be participating then? Shuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xinyun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? Ah, oh, tis nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's Listen, breath. I was listening. It sure seems like you want to talk about Right, it, right. So, will you be attending the workshop? This is or me not? right now. Huh? Um, Wait, you've been talking about love and deep space. This entire time? <laughs> uh, sometimes I get reflex after I'm awake. Yeah. My friend has ADHD, and when I drink Coca Cola, it keeps me up at night. And she's like, "Well, for me, caffeine doesn't have any effects." Yeah. Yeah, you, I was, I was told by my psychiatrist when I got my official diagnosis that I had been um, self-medicating with caffeine because I was drinking lots of it before I, um, I started my, my old medication. I know, she's totally okay to ramble. Getting your official diagnosis this month, so excited, squiggly, congrats! Okay, seems interesting. All right then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? That is so what cool! I need one of those! Day? One calls it the floating toting device. Floating toting device? Huh. She seems pretty proud of that one. I need one of those when I go shopping. Walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... Uh, never mind. Although, I guess I kind of do have a device like that. Full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just, uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Yeah, I have I have my own floating toting device. I call it the uh the hubby wubby carrying uh tubby. <laughs> okay. Um uh what will I do about you, Paimon? All Paimon say is that Shen Yun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? I'm a bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. <laughs> that does sound like something she would do. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. 
after all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself <laughs> when it comes to an elder, right? We finished part one! I just ordered. Throughout the The food week. should be out in a second. <clears throat> oh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat! Here, hand me your cups. Oh, thank you! Wait, uh, uh, was, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. His facial expression was so that funny. That was for you to rinse your utensils. No, did she just drink dirty water? Uh, that's a thing. As you talk piping hot, dim sum dishes arrive at the table one after another. And just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood con kani. Oh my god, yummy. <gasps> wow, so much Precious. food. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> Hi, Red Lock. That's just Happy how we Tuesday do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. What about you, Traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some uh... more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. He is so sweet. That would be great, thanks. I'd be happy to do it myself. Paimon? gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice <clears> and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks! <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying. It even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Baby Toma. What's funny is that Toma's actually a Capricorn, too. So, you know, it just be like that. The Capricorns just be vibing together. <laughs> Think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Huh? You know Xingqiu? You sure know a lot of people. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Gaming always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him. This topic must be very important to him. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushu dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though... That wasn't a real job. No, not the, not, that's not a Just real a job. Pipe no. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wushu dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. To throwing end, hands? I was so angry that I I ran away from home. I love that they use that. I haven't been back I was about since. to throw hands with him. Uh, don't get in my case just yet, okay? And it's not like I think I'm completely without fault. <laughs> no. I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. Why did But uh, my like, dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, that took it just me out. went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. The I knew talking Asian would only get me so far, but Asian parents, if I made it big uh, and leave you a harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kinda already have plans this afternoon. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gaming? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Shen Yun. Auntie Shen Yun? That title certainly humanizes her a bit. <laughs> oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! The more the merrier. <clears throat> Wait, are the daughters here too? I didn't even... Yes, they are. She eepy. <gasps> it's Yao Yao as well! Come on, wake up! Some friends have arrived! Hello, friends. <laughs> You got back at 4 a.m. How was it? Uh, come on, you. Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. <laughs> <sighs> oh my goodness, she's so cute. She's so tired. <sighs> hmm. Apologies in advance. She's just like me. It was wait, fun. Also, something I sent you should be. Not wait, there. what? You sent me something? What? I'm glad that you had fun, though. Hopefully, it was nice and relaxing. You see Shenha take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelling liquid, and apply it to Ganyun's. Her horns? Yao Yao and Paimon look on in shock, mouths agape, but cannot stop her in time. <coughs> see? It worked. She's awake. Are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or or maybe something to eat? I... I'm fine. I just feel... chilly all over. What? <sighs> huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm, Master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Oh my god, they're just uh, Pilot doesn't think that <laughs> they're just the doing a bunch of stuff to exactly. her. Oh, I I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm, perhaps you should come work at Wanmin restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. I 
I could never. Isn't she already? She I'm already sorry. has a job. I seem to have missed your name. You are. <laughs> Me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenhe, and this is Yao Yao. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shenyun's kite-making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Me too! I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend! Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, Chi-Chi's been super busy oh. helping Dr. Baiju lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. I love that she's that her and oh, Chi Chi are best I also friends. Brought it's bandages so cute. And ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. So cute. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companions' enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Huh. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xian Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? She late. Who is it that oh. speaks of oneself in such an <gasps> ill-tempered tone? Her daughter! Oh, oh on. hold on. Heard Paimon. Oh, you'd have no idea who this is, Shu Yu. Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come yeah. get it while it's still warm. Oh, Paimon, yeah, because there's like there's no introduction for her he either, so. The smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? Hmm. <laughs> Cloud Retainer sets down her bags while she hands out the grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, lively conversation fills the usually tranquil environment of Mount Ao 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 Song. <sighs> so delicious. Paimon's life is complete. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. She set up a little craft as station. For how to make a kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one I provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any questions? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. I'll be the one making it anyway. You can just help out. Paimon knew she could count on you, traveler. One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Hey, Gaming! Want to team up? Huh? I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? <laughs> that doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm, what shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? Butterfly symbolizes the desire for freedom. Perhaps that's also what Gaming's what searching for. What do you think, Shuya? Oh. Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super Wait, cute. what is that? <laughs> okay, it's decided then. I'm gonna go um, talk to them. Shenha, 
It would be great if you could refrain like, Don't from do that again. on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the hey, future. Froppy. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch with <laughs> no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. I feel like I shouldn't be watching. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Uh. Oh, I see. <laughs> I feel then like I'll this is so inappropriate. Next time. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <coughs> anyway, we should probably get started on our kite it won't be long before cloud retainer comes to check on our progress perhaps perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style okay why did they describe it like that oh, she's shaking like a cat swimmingly oh, let's not disturb them <laughs> auntie cloud retainer look am i doing it right hmm very good your frame is nice and sturdy this design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. Aww. <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. <laughs> Oh, cool! <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm gonna start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? Oh, we actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? Uh, the obvious answer is to make a Paimon-shaped kite. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. If nothing else, a Paimon-shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. You build the kite's frame according to Cloud Retainer's instructions. <gasps> Wait, that's actually so good. Now, what expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. She should look pleased with herself. She should look afraid. She should look guilty about something. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Something like this, then. <laughs> yes. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. to say. Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Now we just have to attach the string, right? All right. Gather around, everyone. Oh! Shinyan's calling us! Hmm. 
let one take a look. Shen has Aww. made a scissor-tailed swallow. It's so pretty. Yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. Oh my goodness. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it, Ganyu? I did the painting. I stared at the paper for quite some time. But I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. So cute! Oh, you it, I know, Paimon's really out here again. Paimon, please, I'm begging. Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow, the disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shen He. One is flattered by the likeness. The swanee that Gao Ming and Shu Yu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. <laughs> your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? Oh my god. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Very Paimon-like indeed. Are they? Oh, can you... Why do you say that, Shenna? Can you have different expressions on the kite? That one time the Traveler suspected that a piece of meat was missing from their bowl, that was the exact expression on your face. I'm dying. <laughs> You can? That That's so cute. So it was you. Is that the Jade Chamber? Oh. As the gentle breeze brushes, the Jade Chamber drifts towards everyone's feet. Now, whose kite is this? Ooh. Who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety <clears throat> by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece I bet it's of the coots and cahoots. machinery. Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Oh, she's about to beat their ass. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Cloud Retainer? Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay, right? I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. <laughs> I knew it. Hmm. I knew it. This it was the coots and cahoots. Mechanical motion is quite the curious fossils. indeed. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. Your concern is misplaced, surely. Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. <laughs> she will not notice that kite. Oh no. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. I remember the Supreme Cuisine One Machine. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. Oh, they're so Jover. Huh? Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. <laughs> One's fault. One seems to recall that releasing oh my God. the kite was that's, no that's solitary telepathy. endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you it's can think Yow of Yow something over. to appease her. <laughs> Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent. I hope she can hear them. The earliest opportunity. Come on, please. We can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite. 
But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. She probably identity. already knows. <sighs> Hello? <laughs> so, retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. You retrieve it. That is not our kite. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, uh, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for oh any Oh my god, there is so- this is so funny. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? They're- they're the greatest liars verily, of all time. Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! Mint! Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyin. <laughs> <laughs> Moon Carver? Mountain Sheeper? What are you Well, doing? Paimon, no! I... She... Okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep I up the I act. I kind of figured that she knew. Then you are not angry? Hmm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. <sighs> they're really, they're really given the compliments. One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. <laughs> We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. I know. She really, she really does. She really did snitch. <sighs> it seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Then should we continue flying the kite? A splendid suggestion. But it would be advisable to change locations. Probably. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. <laughs> They're really cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, which way did she go? She went this way. <clears throat> he did lose to her with the motorcycle. I I still feel like that's a fever dream <sighs> that slow. she made a fucking motorcycle and beat him in a race. <sighs> I feel like it's still kind of wild that we got a playable cloud retainer. Had no They're idea back. that was actually going to happen. <gasps> Maybe in Genshin 2. <laughs> uh, <hi. clears throat> Why are there only two of you left? After you left. Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Aww. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Oh, poor baby. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Perhaps he sees himself reflected in them? A reflection of himself. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shit. 
10, huh? <sighs> it may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection. But lose it. And you lose that which links you to home. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. It Tolerance and understanding. What brought about this conversation? I, lo I love this conversation. Did one miss something? We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Where were you anyway? Oh, what? <laughs> one was merely doing a bit of cooking. You don't have to Not butt fast in. What the hell? If you are otherwise unoccupied, that was so uncalled one would for. would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Ah. Oh. It's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh... Worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. Uh, we'll take you up on that offer then. I call dibs on Paimon's portions. I'm gonna do it. Hey! Paimon's hungry too! It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, well, you know? Why did you say what you had Shen to say? Ganyu, come with me. What's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. This is... <gasps> Stop! They're in their outfits! Ah, they're so pretty! What the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh, I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Oh, she blushing. Oh, she's so pretty is though. Oh secure? my god, her hair. Stop. I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. How do is we look? Shenna's so <gasps> confident. She's just she like, asked them look just at me. Like that? <gasps> you look great. You look pretty too, Ganyu. Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh. You both look so elegant and refined. Those outfits really suit you both. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. She made her daughters the, the prettiest outfits, or she had them made. Shen he and Ganyu. So cute. Lately, why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like black. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. <laughs> a virtue I've come to value recently. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift. And the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content, as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. They're so cute! Hey, Okadrian! <laughs> How to stud 301 advanced course. The supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xinyan! <laughs> Golden crabs particularly Her good. hair blowing in the wind, maybe she's Shell's born with it. deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet. <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. Now why is he in it? Why, why is he in it? He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shuyu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. Why is she? Why is oh, she trying well. to throw hands with them about just about have the to food? One's in person. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. Huh. One has high standards. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. 
It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shen He. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. <laughs> Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. I oh? just, I, I love that she's like, ran away. She's gossiping about his business. Oh. Girl, what are you One doing right now? We would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, okay. <laughs> she even mentions mind. it. We're tired. We're really. What? This shall not do. Oh. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall style. Uh, Paimon is uh, fucking a killing me. <laughs> like... Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked Minogius his opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adepto countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. And later... Oh, I didn't even see the, th I didn't even see the thing. Okay, and later? Uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. It's okay, I do the same one thing. Means it's fine. That Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. Oh, no, no. <laughs> the reunion us. Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. One fails to see its use. Shanyu knows that uh, rebirth is coming in a couple of weeks. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea. How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Yep. Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hmm. One's designs never fail. You know, it's a good thing now that then, he's a little puppy because if this were me, I'd and be like, why are you spilling one shall see my you business? Why are you talking about me to everyone and their mom? Literally, what is wrong with you? Um, you know, Hi, I hope they do away with it in the, in the future, an to be honest. Playing games already, are we? Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? Hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Ah, perfect, you're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Here. Uh, uh. Look at his eyes. If I cannot the get over that them. Important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Um. Of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. That's fine by me. <laughs> All right, um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. 
Hello. No, Linny. You must um, be the tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. What's his face? <sighs> Their little brother. Fremine. Fremine. There we go. Dad? Mm. <sighs> Father, it's nice to meet you. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. This Coming is who is we're delivering to. Does. Awkward. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. <sighs> the the goods like are that. all in order? Yes. They're all here. Then let's get going. Uh, uh. A, a very important client has asked for you by name. You kind of have to come with us. Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. Share amongst ourselves, then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Oh, oh my god! It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. <laughs> what are they doing? Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Ah, what do we do? Oh my god. It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. It's too dangerous. <laughs> what this the is heck? What I do. Oh, a did Paimon wink? Oh, indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. They are. Uh -huh. They are so. I don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. They are such great liars. Away! Let us away! Coming! Don't worry. He's a great fighter. <laughs> Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself! But coming, I... <sighs> if he had just stayed by my side and learned the family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous it, situations. It really is turning into a sitcom. This is so we funny. We just have to trust him! Let's go on ahead! We'd best get away from here, in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. All is going to plan. <laughs> okay, we should be good to stop here. Young Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? He just, he's minding his business and flying please, a kite. Listen to me. Is he? Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, I see. What in the... It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, 
Perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, nope, no need, no This need. is such a circus. I fine. She just uh, had some cake stuck in her throat. He must have figured it all out by now. Is he just playing dumb on purpose? I... If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. Oh my god! The guard that was escorting us is already on their tail. Oh? Well, if that's the case... Stop. Such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. That was so funny. Oh my god. Ordinary people like us, so true. We're so normal and totally not ex-gods. Right. <laughs> To keep her safe from the art trend. Oh my god, it literally is. <gasps> it literally is. And I'm like, um. Wait, who am I? Am am I the am I the dad? <laughs> Too slow. So uh Uncle Lip does have a reason to be worried. <laughs> After all, Gami. Zhang Li's effigy and I'm by one. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. You should be proud. To have a child so accomplished and Yes. Upright. You must be a very proud parent. You indeed, should be proud. <laughs> Seems like Jean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. I I just think that he's so uh, right and he should well, say it. He, he's a hard worker. Yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. <laughs> I your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life. And Wait, I was there a lizard? My child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support Where? himself? Over the past few years, oh. <laughs> I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him the farther and farther <laughs> Is that farther not supposed to be places. there? I also heard that he never gave up on Wu Show dancing. It made me happy. I thought it was a. But I That's was not also normal. Worried. When you're young, you can <laughs> handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what Did happens no when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that. I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. Did did anyone I else not have a lizard? Introducing him to Wu Show dancing as a kid. If I had known it's how God! things would turn away. Out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. 
It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you Why that. Why does all the weird uncle? shit always happen you in my game? Why? Why? You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. <sighs> Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. <laughs> I've misjudged your age. Your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown oh, daughters. Oh, is he talking Rather about than Cloud about Retainer? Their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she is more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Iptak. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. You can call me more ass. Think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Thank you, Aiden. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. And hide As and my hydrate friend everyone. once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, Clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. It's true. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, Drinking tea or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. Zhongli <laughs> said, why don't you get a hobby? The blink of an eye, you say? Instead of being a shit to your son. Do things change so quickly? Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Mm -hmm. Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. Mm -hmm. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. Oh, this is hitting. <laughs> oh, this is hitting. Yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Sean Lee certainly has a way with words. <gasps> Here he comes. Oh, Gaming is back. Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhongli from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> A fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, <clears throat> is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Hmm. Uh huh? Oh, okay. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? No! What are you talking about? That's... <laughs> uh, so that's a that's weird accusation. Can't, <sighs> can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? <laughs> At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. <laughs> You're pretty quick on the uptake. He's so smart. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Liyue Harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me? Yeah, we were. We were all up in your business. <sighs> I appreciate it. I, I really do. 
but this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. And you? Will you talk to him? <sighs> you told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? All right, uh, listen to us. It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? Uh, good luck, we'll, we're rooting for you. <laughs> we're rooting for you. I'll do my best. I'm sure he's tried, though. <laughs> You are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. But there's only so I'm much impressed. that you can do as a child when the parents Despite being stubborn. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? Zhongli is so pretty. I can't get over that man. It's not like it was alcohol. <laughs> if Duck and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him <laughs> when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhongli? I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok. But I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. You two have a nice chat, all right? Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> change do you <laughs> uh why did you have us walk all this way paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot a friend approaches hello a friend approaches so, and he disappears <laughs> i've been here the whole time i've been here the whole time a ghostly oh. kite could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu in once again? <laughs> what is she doing here? Oh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhang Li, I might as well go pay my respects. Aww. Huh. It's you. I thought you were director who. Ah. Your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? <laughs> the addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. 
Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? <laughs> While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for lantern rice. It's really good. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, this Shao? Is, this is so cute. I'm dying. I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? They're having a father-son right. kite flying moment! You're kidding. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. That really is his you dad. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. <laughs> I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Uh, last lantern right, the Hu Tao never asked for the sesame oil, which... Excuse me, which means that Zhang Li always makes excuses to visit Zhao. Maybe even the kites were excused. It's so sweet. That's right. The competition is not that important right now. Doesn't matter. We're going to win either way. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. <laughs> Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like Xiao lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Jesus. Have Sorry. Have you thought about making a kite, Xiao? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Absolutely. Mm. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. I'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiang Li. See you later. See you next time. <gasps> How is their talk going? <sighs> Wait, I have to say something. God, that, I mean, uh, this just reminded, okay, so like us basically transitioning into the conversation with Gaming and his dad is, it's like, it's almost like paralleling the, um, the conversation between Zhao and uh, Zhongli, like in terms of like father-son type relationships. And I just, I love this. I, I really like this. Uh, uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh, I can't say I support that decision. But <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. Such 
Shen He, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? <laughs> no need. I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Stop! They're not! So I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He doing here? So many people are involved in this scheme. It's like, why are there so many people involved in my I business? All I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. <laughs> Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Songlo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught me. By pinning their heads against the table. <laughs> Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shen He serious right now? He's like, what did they say? <laughs> <coughs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, <laughs> seems to have forgotten about Shen He's just like, I forgot that she's like this. <clears throat> what, what, uh, what I meant to ask was... Have you made any new oh, friends? Oh, no. We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me she to know say you no. are surrounded by good companions. Huh. You already know of my past circumstances. Huh. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, <laughs> but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one <laughs> friend can't even talk. I guess maybe gumming oh, is not so bad after all. That's helping. I'm dying. I'm too hard on him. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today? This Shen is Hunt? not working. Yeah, well, it's it's working, but it's just That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun and perhaps she'll loosen up. I love bit. how this is like this like is completely reversed right when now. We would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way. If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. <laughs> Dad, uh, here. Have some tea. Or, or no, wait. Let's not have any just yet. <coughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I uh, yeah. simply can't listen to that any longer. <laughs> Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. He's like, oh my god, you're doing amazing. You're actually... Your decision to stay in you're Lira actually Harbor doing the because best. Because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. Oh my goodness. You could get a less <clears> taxing <throat> job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. <laughs> Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. She's like, he would never <laughs> just like my daughter is, um, she's, I love her so but, much, but, oh man, <laughs> there's not anything I can do about you, her. Dad. <sighs> it's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. She should have brought Shen Ganyu instead of Shen He. <laughs> uh, hey, you two. Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. 
Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> that was, that was hilarious. You must be Mr. Ip! Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontaineans are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Then, I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course! Please follow me! Is this person also involved in your plan? Uh, what do you think? She's the very important client. And here, I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Over here! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Yoo-hoo! Uh huh? But Auntie Shenyun? She probably wants to talk <clears> about <throat> the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. Yoo-hoo! I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. She was so determined to help me, she didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. Aww. She truly knows how to look out for others. <laughs> I still have a lot to learn. You're doing great! As for the next step. You're just like her. Oh, no. What's wrong, Gaming? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. <laughs> we pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's going to bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment, are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea, but I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah! We're all friends here! Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So... It's like this. I really cannot get over his personality and like his aesthetic and like his design. They made hey, a perfect character. Gaming is perfect. Let's split up and make it happen. We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Since Xiao already tested out those He's so us, cute. why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite! <gasps> oh my god, we're cutscening? <laughs> Chi Chi, we're almost there! The babies! <laughs> okay.
Huh? Come here, allow me. Uh. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with them. I'm so obsessed with them. Should we get the mill with? <gasps> What's that? Are you serious? Oh no, I'm crying. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Have taken that many pictures already? Ugh, I need to load more film. There's ever going to be a time where I don't just start so cool. going through it on Lantern Ray. Right? I wonder if there's ever going to be a time. I think I'll head off now, if that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. That's my mom. My mom's right there. I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. Aww. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I... I know it'll be difficult, but 
then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. <laughs> as long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. No, oh, I'm gonna throw up. Well, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gamin, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's everything I've got. Did you oh, have something I you wanted like to say? Oh, I am like a mess. Give yourself a pat on the back, Paimon. <laughs> now go. Over there. Your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. Ugh. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? Dad. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Oh my god, my face is wet. <laughs> I am okay. leaking. Minimal. See you soon. Oh no, Mallory's home. She's about to. I hopefully the door is open. I have to open the door, and I'm. I am. My face is wet. Hold on. Okay, still be there after. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll go after them. It's so refreshing. It makes my mom feel like she can float around all day and never get tired. Cream! Gummies! Fuel fruit! Huh? Did you hear You know, that? I had a feeling that lantern right would, was going to make me cry, so I purposely did not put on Jesus. fake lashes today for that reason, because every time I keep... Every time that I put my lashes on and I cry, they never make it. I heard it too. What? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. Hmm, that voice sounds really familiar. Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? Okay, let's go see what's up. You and Paimon make your way to the mountain in search of the source of the shouting. Um, as far as you can make out, it's almonds this and cocoa paste that. Sounds delicious, that's for sure. The lively voice invigorates your step, and you ascend the mountain in no time. Always a sob cry for me, they never miss. Oh, right. yeah, come on. oh my god, this is the lesbians. Ah, They're here. Well, if it isn't my dear partners. Let's go, lesbians, let's I told go. You that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. Mona, it's Mona is always right. Day. Exactly, exactly. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Oh, and that reminds me, happy lantern ride. 
Happy lantern right. And to you. Happy lantern right to you too! Uh, wait, if you're here for lantern right, then what are you doing on top of this deserted mountain? And that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? <laughs> oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got good ears. <laughs> that or your voice is just really loud. Well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. You are. Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. <laughs> Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps, but the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. I see. So it's not what you were shouting that matters, but the act of shouting itself. <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here, and they said it was fine. Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used to it by now. So, you see, it's not okay. just me. Yeah. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Uh, Only speculation speak for gotcha. yourself. When you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Mm hmm. <clears throat> not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. Hmm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Huh? <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, why don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. And I prefer to keep things bottled up. Oh, I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. No need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Who? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's No way? In My girly? Village? She's here? Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Yes, we could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. Oh no? And what do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. <laughs> she practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. Oh no. Uh, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, so help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. Okay. Uh, so, you could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, girl. Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. Hi, girl. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. Uh, was she alone? I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalette on the way here as well, but he was already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. What? Nervalette was here too? So many people from Fontaine. Oh, right, here. he was here too? It couldn't have been for vacation. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. Hmm. Nevillette is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. <laughs> Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The 
tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. You Funkanians and your tea drinking. Oh, it's not for me. I lost a bet with Rodley, <laughs> and now I have to buy him something. Um, it seems like a fitting gift. It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing, but he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. <laughs> uh, if only he was that easygoing when it came to talking business. <laughs> in any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Uh, Nervalet even mentioned it earlier. Oh my god, buy 10 boxes, get half off? Yes, yes, that's the one. Oh my god. You didn't really buy 10 oh no. boxes, did you? <sighs> Please, do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing <laughs> crap? Uh, that reminds me. You guys so, said you only Claran came up here because you heard my voice, right? Math. I hope it didn't Wait put you out. You must what? have had other plans for the day. Good girl. Oh, that's right, who tell? A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village, so we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Oh dear, we've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. Zai Zai wants to say hello. Say hi, Zai. Hi, girl. No harm done, partner. <laughs> That's good. Look for Hu Tao. Yeah, let's go find. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. Hmm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Sounds reasonable to me. That's good. We're gonna head down the mountain then. See you later. Village is known for its tea, but you know what else they have with tea? That's right, dim sum. Didn't Gaming say something about? Dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Afternoon tea might be more appropriate at this point. Oh, well that's fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Now let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh... Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Is that Farina standing between Zhongli and Hu Tao? Whoa! Wonder what they're talking about. Me too. Mm, Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina about Chaoying Village. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. Wanna make a bet? Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Meripede. But Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Let's say, loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Since Zhang Li is there, Paimon bets things are pretty tame. It's decided then, Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. Then I vote for Hustler Hu Tao. All right, no time to waste. Let's go see who's right. I got a pet Zio because she's being so cute right now. Oh my God, I'm, I love my kitty. What's she doing? Good afternoon, Hotel Zhongli and Farina! Why? Oh, great. Now Paimon shouting. Right! Oh. What are you doing? Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. <laughs> <laughs> that we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Uh huh? So both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon, then. I have keenly felt the passage of time since our last meeting. So many chums all in one place. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you didn't learn that one from me. <laughs> uh -oh. I must admit, I am a bit surprised to see you here, Traveler. But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well-traveled and well-connected. Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy Lantern Rite. Welcome back, Mystic! I hope the errands went well. Happy Lantern Rite. It appears you have been to Fontaine, then. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, 
It's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. <laughs> uh, that's quite high praise. It's so what cool to see these two is. together. You flatter me, Mr. Now Jolene. we just needed we needed Venti. Although we needed we needed um A here as well. Fontaine. It is no reflection of strength or wisdom. Oh, and um, right now and also Nahida. An ordinary traveler in search of I want them all to meet so bad. Like I want them all to just hang inspiration. out. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? No, 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 no. I, yeah. You're no common <laughs> I, yeah. tourist. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Oh, does that mean Hu Tao also knows? <laughs> you may not have heard, friends, but. Uh, ahem, Miss Hu Tao. Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 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 yep. <laughs> Uh, did you hear that, Paimon? She's Hu Tao's esteemed client. Okay, okay, you win. Hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. Uh huh? What's this about winning something? Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. It was Paimon's idea. <laughs> oh my god, the pointing. Oh, we just saw you guys standing on the side of the road and couldn't help but take guesses as to what you were talking about. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. Well, you know me. That I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. Ah, by newbie, you mean me, right? If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. Oh, that's right. Mr. Zhongli was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. Ha! You see? Paimon was right, too! Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. Yeah, the fact that she, that she keeps her money in her shoe, I, I mean, it makes sense, because where else is she going to put it, I guess? Zai Zai, what are you doing? What you doing? You better not be chewing. You're not, right? You're so cute. I die, die. Don't chew. Or I'm gonna kick you out. Do you need to get kicked out? She sat down. She's just like, I'm not doing anything wrong. Hey, don't be upset, traveler. How about this? You buy Paimon a bull, and Paimon will also buy you a bull. Uh, as for the third bull... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. <laughs> I'll buy you a bull anytime you want. <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway... I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum, after all. Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Did I... something happen recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Uh... Well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all... Oh, well, yes. Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. Huh? But Paimon just thought, since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all... Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Not too long ago, oh, I read a okay. collection of horror stories from Li Wei. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. You might even call it a breath of fresh to air. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. Oh, Paimon sees. That makes a lot of sense. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangcheng Funeral Parlor? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and, well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. Zhang Li sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Oh? Who was it? It's someone you know. Wanna take Oh my a god. Guess? It was Nouvellet, wasn't it? What? How did you guess that on your first try? <laughs> Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. You tell everyone about your encounter with Nadia and Chlorand at the top of the mountain. One look at the pitiful expression on Freena's face is enough to convince you to leave out the part about the shouting. Huh. Hyman never thought Nevelette would be the type to get lost. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. For him, though, swimming would probably be the fastest route of them all. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hutel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great kind sense of, of yeah. direction. But, speaking of your friend... What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? No, no, he doesn't. Uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. <laughs> all in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. It's okay, it's okay. I was I'm able sure to text and let them know that I'm going to be like a, <clears throat> a couple minutes some late. Important meeting. Totally fine it because it's telehealth. Like so, would wear on vacation. let me finish this. Is that so? Wait, you didn't see him, Jolie? I'm assuming this is almost over. Unfortunately, no. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Is that so? <laughs> Judging by how Zhongli is acting and taking into consideration Nouvellet's true identity, could Zhongli have been avoiding him on purpose? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I, I really would have loved to see them together. Um, it's truly a pity. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Bombastic side-eye. Well, with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. That's right. She's got more friends than she knows what to do with. I have a certain charm about me. Well, that's certainly true. Oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance... You should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Just tell him the Palais Mermonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? If he's True. really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. 
he'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but you know what I mean. That does make sense. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. He is the fair and impartial Eudix of Fontaine, head of the highest court in the land, otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paperwork in Fontaine. <laughs> I've never heard of a demon that boring before. Wow. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. If I remember correctly, right. he's already several thousands of years old. <laughs> You're quite right, Miss Hu Tao. Oh? Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Oh, it's Navia and Cloran. Hey, over here! We saw you all chatting over here. And we're wondering if we could join in. <clears throat> um, please, excuse the interruption. <laughs> oh, so polite. Look at this group. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, <laughs> straight to the point. I like it. Everyone circles around and begins to introduce themselves. Hu Tao's eyes light up when she hears about Cloran's profession. But a quick explanation from Farina and Navia seemed to dispel some of her more misguided ideas. <laughs> hmm, it's getting late. Ooh, they if were we talking want to for catch a, a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Indeed. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes. When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I, I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Um, I didn't mean it that way. She wants to. It's normal for friends oh, to travel home together goodness. if they run into each other on the road. That's so mm, precious. There are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly. Yeah, she Just she's like pretty awkward. I I love Farina. She's one of my Eight favorite characters in Genshin. In Beside them, an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. Oh, no. But if you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery... Screen. Now, why is she doing this? Right? Like, my poor girl. My dear Demoiselle, stop, uh, ladies. No, uh, I mean, friends, please take me with you. <laughs> of course. For Fer Farina. <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh,. All in the past now. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. Doesn't she doesn't she eat like mac well, and cheese all the time too? An or something like that? Relax. Chow Ying Village is an exemplary choice. We'll have you all had a good time. Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot too. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You've thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Dim sum. Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? <laughs> they are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Derek, thank you for 30 oh, months. How so are you? it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Ooh, yeah, Make sure to I guess. Make winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious. Paima knows you'll love them. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home empty-handed? Uh, you're not bringing home any souvenirs. Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. 
A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Y'all, I was not Lauren, expecting this to be so long. I thought it was almost so done. So all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Sijween. Florand isn't much of a shopaholic. Like, I'm loving it, but holy well, crap. one of us has to practice restraint. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my mora. Is it, is it? A I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. Are we almost done? <laughs> uh, it's nearly, okay, cool. Cause I gotta get to my appointment, y'all. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. I hope your, I hope your stream was great. Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. They should all be things I can use, I think. Um, found my stream through the Filipino tag. I'm guessing you're not from the motherland. Like, I currently live there because I do not live there. I was born in Along Alongapo City, but I don't currently live in the Philippines, no. Um, so y you fell for a few marketing traps then. Uh, now Paimon's even more confused. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Oh, <laughs> actually... Monsieur Neuvillette took them with him. Oh, so that's what happened. Wait, what? Why did he take them? He's not hoarding treasure, is he? Oh, <laughs> that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Nervillet just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. I felt a bit bad at first, but uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> He even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Maripede for me, once he's done with the day's work. Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. <laughs> If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. Oh my god, not her ignore- right, Hello? Indeed. That was- that was so rude. Okay, holy crap, that was so long, holy crap. I loved it, but my god.